out where the clouds are foaming high in the sky. On the great southern wind, another rain is falling. The sea is high, it's windy, the waves breaking on the shore. And I Thinking about the stories in your country here once more. Tara, my Yank Wurba. Tara, my Yank Here at the top of the south face are traces of the largest ever explosion in the lands of the Ma people 37,000 years ago. Nuchung Laka, Nuchung Yana, walk and talk with respect. The culture is within my heart and it's what makes me strong is getting out on country and walking country and listening to nature. Here in the Merai River Gorge, east of Tower Hill, a stone axe was found under the debris of that explosion. So we know people were living here 37,000 years ago. What's interesting to me about Von Gerard's painting of this landscape is that at the time that he did it, it was a landscape in transition. He wanted to show future generations what this landscape was before human activity started to impact upon it. And that's the great gift that he left us. As a kid growing up in the 1960s, I can remember this place without a tree on it. It was completely and utterly denuded. So in the late 60s, we came in busloads School groups from all over the district came and planted trees here and now we walk under a forest of our own making. We are in a time of the cultural recovery for Aboriginal people and that's much harder. We've got a lot to do to protect this country and to protect our world for our children, our grandchildren. So this is a really lovely model for what can be achieved. A lot of lessons to learn here. In fact, Aboriginal people were the first climate refugees here. Down on that Belfast coastal reserve, in that Pequong country, it wasn't a coastline 40,000 years ago when this exploded. It's all grasslands, probably all the way to Tasmania. And then Aboriginal people had to start retreating as the ice age began to end and melt and the sea level rose and Bass Strait came back. Port Ferry down here for many thousands of years it was known as Piapkil. They're named after this pig face. It's so common, especially used to be so common up through Port Ferry. So along the Belfast coast you can see we've got all the mittens through here in the layers where that's all been cooked up in the hills and the fire pits. Yeah, the old people would have just sat up here and have a real good feed of these. If you're looking for a mitten, you want to look where the rocks are and wherever you can see that rock shelf out there. And turn around and look in the hills and, and that's where the mittens will be. So a real connection between geology and culture. Yeah. The rocks tell the story of a world that was in a land that's still in the making. The ecological story here is really that it's an island of vegetation and water in amongst cleared farmland. But really it all starts in the water here. The water means life. There's nothing else like this in this broad area of coastline because we're tucked into this hollow, protected, lots of food and the water. When you look back at the old paintings, the old stories, the old maps, it's obvious that the area around Tower Hill, the Belfast Reserve, was once like the Kakadu of the South. 
so abundant was its flora and fauna. In the 21st century, our community dares to dream large again of a coastal and cultural park where we can tell stories on country of Tower Hill and the Belfast coast and the Peak Wrong people and celebrate this incredible part of the world. And we'll sing to the mother of creation till sunrise And we'll learn and as we go from the stories of the old and the Terror, my yang kurva. Terror, my yang kurva.